Welcome to the Family Law Channel. I'm Scott Drake with my guest, the honorable retired uh, Superior Court Judge Eugene Hyman, Santa Clara, California. Uh, we're talking about a new practice. Well, it shouldn't be new, but we're just learning more about it. A Bay Area employers, for example, are now uh, sifting through Facebook to vet some of their job applicants, and you would be surprised which would keep what would keep you out of a job. Judge Hyman, welcome back. Thank you. We were going to talk about um, how this is becoming a much more common practice and how it does have uh, application in the court process, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely, especially in family law. And of course, the possibility, uh, potentially, if you didn't get a job uh, because of something having to do with Facebook and you weren't given the opportunity to explain it, in theory, there might be some kind of uh, tort uh, action for uh, the uh, refusal to hire. But I think that the uh, real um, opportunity here is for family lawyers uh, to use certain kinds of uh, Facebook presentations in family court. Uh, it sounds like it would also be possible, in other words, to uh, persuade or to, in, in one way, justify your case using social media. Absolutely. Um, if, for, uh, hypothetically, if you have a case in family court and on the Facebook or um, some other type of social uh, media, you have uh, references to drug usage, uh, to um, promiscuous uh, behavior, uh, nudity uh, pictures, uh, things of that nature, you potentially are demonstrating to a judge that uh, perhaps uh, it would not be in a child's best interest for you to be the primary custodial parent and that it might be dangerous even for you to have visits with your child unless you were to be supervised. Uh, so talking about, it seems to have some, some application in child custody uh, cases. Talk about other ways in family court that this could be used. Well, uh, to uh, demonstrate um, that you might have a substance abuse issue, in which case, um, depending upon what is posted, uh, that might justify a judge uh, indicating or ordering that you have to have uh, substance abuse uh, testing, uh, substance abuse uh, intervention in terms of uh, counseling, and again, that uh, perhaps uh, you should not uh, have access to your child unless you're being properly supervised to make sure that uh, there isn't any drug use uh, happening while you're with your child or that you're not under the influence of alcohol or other drugs when you're with your child. Uh, we've heard, uh, heard of other instances in, uh, for example, damage cases where the award hasn't been determined yet and someone's Facebook post, for example, showing that they feel a lot better than they're portraying in court has actually caused them to lose uh, money in, in a damage case. This sounds like it, it, I mean, it, it could really influence cer certain things. Well, yes. Uh, please remember that in a family law matter uh, in California and in most states, uh, child custody visitation and access cases are tried to the court, that is to a judge sitting without a jury. So I don't care how uh, eloquent uh, an attorney is, um, depending upon how what is uh, pictured and what is said and things of that nature, uh, it's going to be a lot more difficult to potentially fool a judge than it is to potentially fool a jury. Uh, in other words, you might be able to explain away certain kinds of uh, behavior in the in the uh, accident case that you've talked about, or in the employment um, wrongful uh, discharge, or the uh, wrongful uh, uh, refusal to hire, or, or things of that nature, because those are going to be traditionally tried in front of a jury, uh, but your family law actions in front of a judge, making it that more difficult to uh, be able to successfully explain away uh, certain kinds of behavior that are out there for the world to see. Mm -hmm. uh, overall, in closing, uh, going back to the employment picture here, it says somewhere between 18 and 63 percent of employers in the Bay Area, for example, will go ahead and go through social sites before they hire a candidate. What do you personally think about that? Well, I think uh, that the employer has to be careful uh, because if they're making an employment uh, decision based upon something uh, that's on Facebook or another kind of social uh, media site, uh, and if they don't give the applicant the opportunity to try and explain um, away the uh, the postings that are a concern to the employer, 
they might potentially face um, litigation uh, for that. Having said that, I think it's going to be probably very unlikely uh, that your average uh, candidate for a job is going to find out uh, the reason why uh, they potentially uh, weren't hired. So I, I think really, their realistically, their exposure is uh, uh, is pretty small. I think that there's a much greater chance that uh, inappropriate uh, behavior, which is linked on a Facebook or, or other social media account, coming into a family court action is, going, is a lot more likely. You've been watching the Family Law Channel. I'm Scott Drake here on the Legal Broadcast Network.